We're learning more about the deadly February freeze that left millions of Texans without power and water. This week, federal officials gave out their final report about the disaster, and we've invited KHOU 11 energy expert Ed Hers to share his analysis. Ed, thanks for joining us. First, after reading the report, what stood out to you? Well, of course, it's like reading the 2011 report all over again. Uh, they could have done a find and replace and just put 2021 in, apart from the fact that this one killed over 200 people, cost us more than $100 billion. Uh, the frustration with FERC is, is just palpable. The 81% of generators failed, though, because they failed before it got too cold for them to operate. So while they were within the operating bounds of temperature, they failed anyway. So this is symptomatic of a lack of investment and reinvestment. So does this report actually have any teeth to it? What changes, if any, can we expect? Well, no, there are no teeth because this is from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Uh, the ERCOT grid is not regulated by FERC. Keep in mind, though, that the, the two grids it does address, the Southwest Power Pool and MISO on our, our west and our east, respectively, they are federally regulated. That does have teeth for them. And those grids didn't suffer as much as we did. They were off a few hours and then back up again. So the biggest question, as we head into the winter months, are we in a better spot at all over last year? You know, just marginally, some of the generation companies went out and started doing the weatherization by themselves. Uh, the Public Utility Commission requirements really aren't supposed to take effect until December 1. The Railroad Commission has a way that companies can opt out and, and just send in $159 for a waiver. So no, I'm not very optimistic. If we get another winter storm, Yuri, the grid's gonna be in trouble this year. Well, that's horrible to hear. All right, Ed Hurst, thank you so much for your insight. And you can read, you can read the entire report for yourself. We posted the 313-page document on our website, along with a summary of the recommendations. Just head to khou.com to check it out.